Hi, I'm Murray from the Deers, and uh, we're playing at Palais Montcalm on March 6th to celebrate 25 years of the Deers. We normally kind of try to touch on, you know, uh, various parts of the Deers, like various eras of the Deers when we play. But I think this is this will be more of a deeper dive and very focused on kind of encapsulating and playing like a sort of greatest hits. And because of where we're at right now, we're having a lot more time to reflect on, okay, so we've been around for 25 years. Are we going to be around for another 25 years? Like what, like, and what does that mean as we go forward when we play shows? Because, you know, to go out and just play the new album, that's fine. But people ultimately still want to hear Lost in the Plot 22, you know. Is how we've managed to navigate a re an ever-changing music business. It's interesting that still we've managed to just barely navigate it all, especially a band of our level. You know, we're not a stadium-level band. We're just a club band. And club bands are getting clubbed to death. So... Um, uh, so I'm probably most proud to be a club band warrior, essentially. <laughs> you know, I, I talk about dreams of having a little hole in the wall bakery pizzeria, you know, like I'd be most happy living in a small, quaint town, being the local, like, boutique pizza guy and making breads and pastries and little things that people can eat. That would be living another dream, you know? Um, but, uh, and then in another dream, I would be a designer or like, like some kind of art designer, you know? And, uh, and I consider all the time going back to school to, to do that even though I'm turning 50 this year. We're not really meant to be like a hyper contemporary band in that we're, we don't really, we don't really make records that are trendy. We don't talk about trendy topics. We kind of look at our records to exist on a shelf forever and that to be picked up and you're not thinking of, Oh, remember the eighties? Oh, listen to that 80s sound. Or do you remember, you know, uh, uh, hashtags or whatever? You know what I mean? Like 100 years from now, are people going to be talking about hashtags? I don't know. But 100 years from now, anything on a Deer's record could be relevant. Um, I think that's, I don't know if that's entirely intentional, but I think the way we communicate is not meant to be, it's meant to be relevant now, before, and in the future. The I, but when we were making No Cities Left, uh, we, we were making it right in the wake of 9-11. So the world was in a similar state of mind uh, of this doomy feeling of going out into the world and being somewhat terrified that suddenly, you know, uh, it, it, it could be the end, you know? And, uh, and so it's easy to compare those two records are definitely, uh, sibling records for sure. Um, and, uh, in, on a global level, you know, a global view whereas like missiles is kind of about impending doom but more from a hyper personal perspective uh lovers rock and no cities left kind of address it 
as a collective. I, I love the opportunity to work with local players. Uh, it's always a different experience and I love making connection with local musicians and I kind of want to do that more and more uh, and expand that, you know, working with ensembles and uh, uh, that kind of thing. It, it's, it's really fun and lends well to what we do. It's what we've always envisioned for the band. Uh, when we first started, in the late nineties, we were putting upwards of 18, 20 people on stage regularly in clubs on tiny stages. It was ridiculously stupid. Yeah.